Welcome back. When Roy Evans decided that John Scales was an expensive luxury for Liverpool, Leeds thought they had his transfer all sewn up. Scales even completed a medical for the Elland Road side. And then at the last minute, that's at 7.30 last night, he changed his mind and will now be signing for Tottenham, provoking predictable fury from George Graham. And who was the man behind all this? Well, there are the inevitable mutterings that Scales' his agent might have had something to do with it. That man is Eric Hall, and he's with us to put the record straight. We're also joined by Paul Hawksby, editor of Goal magazine, by Tommy Doherty at Talk TV Manchester, and on our Edinburgh video phone by Hibbs and Scotland goalkeeper Jim Layton. And as always, we want to hear from you. Are agents good for the game? Give us a call now, yes, 0990 yes. 82 55 88. I think I heard Eric there. I've got to tell you something, that you are a man of your word. Am I? The last time I did this show, you used to show you told me it'd be a cold day when I have you back again. And it is cold today. It so is you, cold. you kept your word, monster word. Yeah. We, well, we apologise for Eric's uh, being so loud and talking about his shirt there. <laughs> okay, so listen, what did you tell John Scales? I've got to tell you, no, I've got to tell you exclusively ish. I've said that there were eight interviews today, everyone's had exclusive. Is that he should have gone to Leeds United. That's a monster, monster fake. Mm. He should have gone. If it had been up to me, solely up to me, he would have gone to Leeds United. Because they are a wonderful, beautiful people, a lovely club. That's a fact. Probably one of the best coaches in, uh, next to Terry Venables and next to Tommy Doherty in the old days is George Graham. That's a fact. Monster fact. He's trying to get back into Leeds fans' good books. But no, I don't no, think no, it's no. I'm being factual. I believe Bill Fotherby, that you're on the wires at the moment, is, is saying nice things about me. Right, OK. So how come I think your that man's word going is to... a nice word, anyway. Yeah. How come your man's going to Spurs then? Well, because you know, I think Tommy will, will back me up ish on this, is at the end of the day, and Jim, if he's going to be a part of this, Jim Layton, the wonderful goalkeeper, he ain't no good, really. He actually is bad. No, he's a nice boy. No, I, I'll ask you a question. No, seriously, ish. No, at the end of the day, the player has to sign the contract, not the agent. Yeah. We can give him advice, Eric, advice. What, so Eric, why is question. he going Let to Spurs? Me... Because he wanted to go there. He wanted to go there. It was his decision at the end of the day. Right. His decision, I'm telling you, if it, up to, if it was solely up to me, I would have gone to Leeds, he would have gone to Leeds, because they're yeah. a lovely fine club, and I've got to say, and I would upset probably Tottenham fans now, yeah. I would upset the Leeds fans, I'm about to upset the Tottenham fans, is to say quite clearly that Leeds will do much better this season than Tottenham, and even next season. I believe the guy's made a mistake, but it has to be his decision. He has got to make, you know, the old saying, regret the things you do, don't regret the things you didn't do. So he may regret this move, yeah. but uh, what tipped the scales, you pardon the terrible gag, yeah. was <laughs> that they are in London. Remember, let me give you a sequence of events here, and, and Tommy knows the uh, manager of the... I know, but officially the lad knew about 5 o'clock Thursday night that Liverpool agreed terms with Leeds. Yeah. Which is a kid with heart broken. You know, he's been injured for a few weeks, he's just about getting fit, he was looking forward to play tonight in a reserve match and hopefully be involved in the squad Saturday, please God. <laughs> it was told at 5 o'clock he has been sold to Leeds United. Mm. And he wasn't and happy at 11 a.m. Like the following morning, we are sitting in with Bill, the lovely Bill Fotherby, who I actually I wanted to marry this morning, but I'm fat bad at marriage, so I just adopt him now. Yeah. Um, with Bill Fotherby doing a deal, doing a deal. You know, we were like 9 or 12 hours, I'm, I'm, I'm an agent on the couch, okay. but the hours are late. And then let me finish. And then suddenly, 7 o'clock the same night, Roy Evans phones up the lad, quite right, so you know the rules uh, do this shtick, to say, listen, we've got to tell you, kiddo, we've just had a last minute bid from Tottenham and match the bid. Do you mm. want to talk to him or not? And so he remember, did. all in 24 hours, he wanted to talk to him. Okay, Eric, have a breather uh, while we bring in Paul. Now, has he done the right thing? The, the, well, the as a player? Tottenham fan, I'm bound to say yes. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I mean, I, it's, I think it's a difficult one. He says it's purely, sand today in the papers, it's purely for football football reasons. Mm. And he maybe feels that... Uh, I no, you're saying, you're misquoted there. Cause I've got to tell you, because I've got to tell you, I believe, you know, that, that I believe that, that, that Leeds will do better than Tottenham this season and next season. Yeah, okay, you but said that, Eric. football reason, because, no, I believe the actual tip the scale I said before was because... You know, once he knew that Liverpool didn't want him anymore, you know, and he said he did have a choice of going to London or to Leeds, he wanted to go back he to London. He wanted to go to London. OK, yeah. let's, let's just um, get some reaction from Tommy. Tommy, do, what do you think about these agents coming in and turning players' heads like this? They don't all do it. I mean, I think agents are very, very important. Good agents. There are some rascals, admittedly. I just can't understand that a player, when a, he can't sit down with a club or a director of a club or the manager of a club and discuss terms. Mm. And if the manager of the club or the director who's handling the cash situation agrees terms with the player, signing on fees, salaries, term of mm. contract. I don't see why a player can't do that himself. I mean, surely he's intelligent enough to do that. What is a good deal and what is a bad deal? I think the boy's scales. Tottenham's come in a little bit late, admittedly. He's decided, I'm, I'm in, you know, I love London. I, I was in London with uh, Wimbledon. I prefer London to, to Leeds, and that's not been disrespectful to, to living in Leeds. Yeah, that's a fair point. Jim, um, Tommy was saying that a player, he doesn't see why a player couldn't do a lot of the stuff that an agent does himself. Would you feel happy about negotiating deals and everything? Um, I think it's easier sometimes if you've got someone, particularly if you're a younger player, yeah. uh, if you've got someone like Eric or any other agent, 
negotiating the deal for you. It's very difficult for a young player to negotiate with to like Martin Edwards or Dal Fotherby for a deal if he says no you're taking this. Yeah. And like strong managers and chairman can bully uh, players into signing deals, whereas someone like Eric, I mean how could you bully Eric? So he can stand up for the player uh, far better. But I mean as far as John Scales goes, you know, he's until he signs the contract, it's he's entitled to find out every option that he has. Yeah. And um, I think you're right, Jim. I think it's if he not Eric's to... decision that for it for for John Scales, it's John Scales himself. Yeah, you're right. If he wants to play for one team, I don't see why he shouldn't. Eric, we're going to get quite a few calls from Leeds. Be prepared for these. Here they go. Stephen Watts calls us from Leeds. Hi, Stephen. What do you think? Um, I'd like to speak to Eric. Hi, hey, Eric. How are you, kiddo? It's a monster disgrace. <laughs> yeah, I think you are a monster, right? A monster. Leeds. All Leeds fans were expecting Scales to come back to his own club, and. It, when I, when I, I finished work this morning, and when I found out at half past five this morning, it's gone. It, it's, what, what's football about? It's about leads. It's about players thinking about the fans, about, all right, the personal terms. Um, now, you've got to remember, can I cut in there, because we haven't much time. You see, kiddo, you've got to remember that John is 30 years old. This is, could probably, maybe, maybe not, hopefully not, as an agent, but it probably is his last, maybe, monster deal, you know, monster big deal. So, he had to make sure, look at all aspects of the situation, and make sure which was right for him. I've said Has four or five times already, that, of course he's made money. Don't you make money? No, I'm mean making money. It's not communist Russia or Nazi Germany. Of course he's made money. Only a schmuck is going to leave a club and yeah. take less money. I don't That's remember saying it was That's Russia. fact. But no, I'm just going to these lovely boys on the phone here that, of course, he's done well. He took out all the options, like Jim is saying, and the player suddenly, out of the blue, Lee's want to buy him. Then out of the blue, Spurs want to buy him. He had to go and talk to both clubs. Yeah. I still will say that I am regretting, I, I am gutted that he never become a Lee's player. That's a fact. I think one of the best teams around, potentially a sleeping, sleeping giant, could win the league next year. I, don't you, I know what George's player after next year. I can't say, I could say, but I don't want to say you this. You can't, obviously, because they're leveraged. I would tell them, Leeds, if I were the better man, back Leeds now to win the league next year, because they are sensational. Right. You've got the best okay. coach in the country and the best Paul? chairman. <laughs> I think he stopped, Paul. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say now, that's me three. No, um, I think I can understand Bill Fotherby being upset because on Leeds, I know for a fact Leeds are desperate to sign players and they're, mm. they're looking all around Europe to sign players and George is desperate, desperate to strengthen the squad. Um, I, I wouldn't have thought the terms were a lot different, would I, Eric? I mean, that's between me and the oh, tax course, man. Of course, I mean, I doubt, I doubt if they were that I'm not sure, I'm not sure in a way. I didn't answer that question. Didn't answer that question. Never mind answer. about amounts, Eric. Money, money, can't tell you. Buy, money can't buy poverty. Who gave him the better deal, Spurs or Leeds? Who gave him the most cash for scale? Well, obviously, he, he, in his opinion, he got a better, not a better deal, a better old package. Now, you know, though. You know, in my opinion, who gave him the most money, Spurs or Leeds? I can't tell you. Okay. They were very similar, very similar. All right, let's get a Glenn, who's a Leeds fan. Hi, Glenn, what do you think? Absolutely disgraceful. People like uh, Eric Gold shouldn't be in football. Uh, Why? Because it, Scale says on the phone to the Leeds public that he's signing for Leeds on Monday. Yeah. It's quite obvious to anybody who, who have any know how about well, it. Well, let me tell you, like, everything in my power to get that boy to sign to Leeds United. Yeah, hang, hang on just a minute. Just I believe Bill Fabius said this morning, about 20 minutes ago, has given me a monster G saying how good I was. He's, okay, let's he, see if Glenn he, believes he, that. He's dubbed John Scales. He's dubbed John Scales. Glenn, do you believe him? Do you believe him? Well, do you believe what your chairman, Mr. Fotherby? Would you believe what Mr. Fotherby says? He doesn't even says? know what a football is. No, that's my just, question, Glenn. Do you believe what Bill Fotherby says? Would you believe him? Eric, uh, Eric just be quiet a minute. Money. Let's see what Glenn's got to say. Glenn. Well, that's for me a liar. Do, well, it, well, All he's done is made himself money and he's made John Scales a bit more money. He's hypocritical. He doesn't even know what shape of football is, Eric Hall. He goes on and goes on and goes on about how good Leeds United is. People like him shouldn't have anything to do with football. It's like Tommy Doherty says. They should be have enough brains to... No, but they should, but they haven't. A lot of problems have their own like they're, you know, they have They need people to negotiate in every field, in show business, dancers, actors, actresses, pop stars, have people to negotiate for them. There is no harm in that nah, at all. There's it, no harm in that rubbish. at all. I mean, I'm, I'm football through and through, and, and I know what goes off, and you've just got... You've just... You've just treaded leads in, in the mire. It's, it's just like I'm you've, you've took you all it from Leeds. We've all expected him to sign today, today, and next day you've gone and got him a few more quid down at Tottenham, and he's gone. To no, Tottenham. no, no, no. They don't believe you, Eric. Do they don't believe you? They think you've turned scales. Well, I can't make people believe me. You keep saying you didn't, but they, they don't believe you, do they? The Leeds fans. They it's think. It's like you know, talk about not believing. It's, it's Tommy. One of Tommy's lines. Great story. I'm changing the subject. Ish, ish. I'm trying to in a corner here. Is when Tommy was done. I think in court for perjury, and he said he pleaded guilty. The judge didn't believe him. 
I think, right, one of the funniest <laughs> lines ever in football. OK, we've, right, got, Tom. <laughs> we've got another fan on the line, Warren from Weatherby. Hi, Warren, what do you think about this business with scales? Yeah, well, I, I'm a Liverpool fan, you see, and uh, I think it's very strange that I've heard reports recently that he, he was going to Leeds for £3 million. Pounds, yeah. And then uh, out of the blue, it seems he's gone to Tottenham for uh, 2.6. And so we seem to be losing money out on this deal. I honestly believe John Scales is worth over three million pounds. He is a quality player, mm. and uh, I think we we do really need the uh, the cash to help uh, fund it. Well, I think Roy Evans needs another signing. So you want to know where that point four million's gone, don't you? Well, yeah. Let me just have a look I in Eric's I, I, pocket. Hang on. <laughs> no, don't, don't carry that much around for me. Where's Ish. that point four million gone? Um, That's Liverpool fan. That's his yeah, money. Do you like the shirt? <clears throat> Very nice. Where's that Liverpool well, fan's money gone? What do you mean he's failed? He's money well, he was good. They, they were going to get 0.4 million pounds for the, for the club. That the, the, the Scales was going to go for three million. He's only gone for 2.6. Well, you see again. That again, I, not really asking your question. Is is that then obviously it proved. I mean, you see one thing George Graham said to me on, on Friday night, Thursday night was when he sort of made the bid. He couldn't actually believe they, they accepted it. You know, mm. so they, he actually couldn't believe, forget the money side. And again, Tommy probably, who you know, monster success in his career and, and should be working out the manager at the top club. That's a fact. Monster fact is that. George said, I, I actually can't believe they're going to send him to me. He's one of the greatest defenders around. Mm. You know, they look like they could, could still win the championship. So he's a bargain. Let's, let's ask Tommy. Quite, you know, you don't break up a squad. When you, this is he a position, bargain, you Tommy? Don't break up a squad. Well, f first of all, Jeremy, the fee will be the same for both clubs. It won't be three million for Leeds and 2.4 for Tottenham. No, same thing, George. The fee same will thing. be the same for both clubs. Yeah. Then it's left to the player to decide hey, what he's going to do. Right. I think with Tottenham come in, coming in late, and jo if John Scales did shake hands with George Graham, he should have gone to uh, he should have gone to Leeds. But in saying that, he's got a right to speak to anyone he wants. I think at the end of the day, he's probably got a little bit more money uh, from Tottenham. Uh, to influence them to, to say no to Leeds. Yeah, it sounds like that, or it might just be that he prefers to play, you know, in London because, like you say, he was at Wimbledon. Uh, let's go to Steve in Derby. Hi, Steve. Hello, Steve in Derby. Are you uh, there on the phone? Yeah, I'm here. Hi, what do you think? Well, I honestly think that um, no one's to blame but the agent. If the agent's taking care of the deal and someone's got hard feelings, it's got to fall on his head after. At the end of the day, he's mm -hmm. the agent. And the other point is, right, if, if I was a professional footballer, and I wanted an agent to run my business. I'm afraid, with his attitude, the way he rackles on it, the very last agent I'd pick, I'd pick someone who was calm, quiet, and got on with the job properly and professionally, and not sit there rackling his gob off. And I understand how the Leeds fans feel. Yeah, okay. We've added to Derby. Okay, thanks for that, Steve. Let's quickly uh, squeeze in Darby, Tony Darby's from Belfast. Hello, Tony. Hello, this, can I speak to Eric? Yeah, go on. Go on, Tony, um, how are you, kiddo? I, th I think what everyone's forgetting is that John Scales was, was let go 10 years ago by Leeds in the first place. Now, let's have a do with it, Tony. Let's have a do with it. I keep saying, maintaining this show, I've said it many times today, that it doesn't matter if you get let go 10 months ago, 10 weeks ago, or 10 years ago. I'm saying this quite clearly, that I did everything in my most of the power to get to become a Leeds player. That is a fact. Mm. And there's more to this story than I can tell at the moment. We'll, we'll probably come out very soon, more to this story. That's a fact, too. I was saying to you, and, and as I said, I believe Bill Fonby would sell this at the press conference. I've calmed down a little bit here. Exactly that, what I did with yeah. everything, everything. Okay, so thanks I was for saying, that. Saying that let, him, let, him, let him play where he wants to play. I believe the kids made a wrong decision. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll see what comes out from uh, Leeds later in the day. Tommy, let me just ask you briefly, do you think John Scales would be a good player at yes. Spurs? Yeah, I think he's an outstanding player and they can play in two or three different positions, which makes yeah. him a better player than actually than just getting, a, say, a centre-half or a right fullback. He's very adaptable and an outstanding professional. Yeah. yeah. OK, we've got to leave it there. Jim Layton, thanks for joining us. Um, all the best with Hibs yeah, for the rest of the call, season. Jim, Jim, give me a call. <laughs> I've got a club for you. Paul, do you think Spurs are going somewhere at your team now? <laughs> Next couple of years, maybe. Next couple of years. Uh, every okay. year I say we're three or four players. Off. You've You've got got teams, so I'll keep it up. I feel yeah. like I beat the title win the league next year in the first division. OK, so that's... <laughs> oh, I was going to say, because you've already predicted Leeds for the title, Spurs as well. OK, <laughs> thanks for that. Ellen Road last weekend to discuss a possible move from Liverpool to Leeds. He's back there this weekend as a Spurs player. Jackie Levy's been to see him at home. Home this week for John Scales and girlfriend Ruth, a hotel room. It's the plight of the recently transferred. So is suddenly finding your car is now out of date because Spurs play in white. It's got this fantastic number plate. I won't say what it is, but it's got the initials red in the middle of it. You're a bit stuffed now, aren't you? I am really. Yeah, I spent, uh, spent the week trying to um, get it to Jamie Redknapp, but uh, I had no luck there, so I didn't really have long enough to uh, persuade him to take it from me. Inappropriate number plate, furniture and clothes still in Liverpool, it's all to be sorted out. 
And although former Page Three girl Ruth is glad to be back in London, she says she didn't influence the move. Mrs Emerson, take note. We've been doing a lot of catching up with uh, friends and relatives since you've been back down. Oh, yeah, if he wants to, uh, if he wants to see us now. When are you coming out? I think they've forgotten that John's actually training and um, it's a bit tired. <laughs> They're expecting to be out all night at the moment. But it's lovely, yeah, my family are pleased because obviously we were going to be up in Liverpool for Christmas. And now we can go around to my mum's house and uh, have a family Christmas, that's nice. But if the papers are to be believed, the price of Scale's Christmas dinner in London is a pay cut. So what did tip the balance in Spurs' favour? I'm excited by the fact that we're going to have success here and I'm, I'm convinced about that. Um, but I think, yeah, it was just, just really the straight talking and, and the honesty that uh, I felt. I've, I've known Jerry for a long time. You know, I played with Jerry, uh, I think he came down to Bristol Rovers when I, put, when I started my career. So uh, I've known him a long time and I'm a great admirer of, um, you know, the way that uh, his coach Tottenham and, and the way that uh, the team play. But learning how Spurs play this week has already given him a bit of a headache. Ian Walker's... Uh, He's already done with this morning in training. He uh, had a clash and with Stefan Iverson, so the three of us sort of clashed. I think I came off worse, but uh, <laughs> he's, he has his moments. Uh, but a good bunch, yeah. Having played his first 45 minutes for Spurs in the reserves midweek and his first game in four weeks after a groin injury, the 30-year-old defender says he's fit for the Leeds game, a game he'd love to be selected for in spite of the verbal backlash from Elland Road following his transfer U-turn. I think a lot was made and a lot of fuss was made about um, some comments over the weekend that were made from uh, from Bill Fotherby, but uh, from my point of view, it's it's uh, just a case of getting out and playing football, and uh, I think that's uh, that's the one thing that I want to do more than anything is to is to play on Saturday. The irony of the situation isn't lost on the Yorkshireman. His name is now mud at the club that released him as a 19-year-old starting his football career. So, were you a Leeds supporter as a lad? Yeah, I was. Yeah, I always uh, followed Leeds and uh, went to quite a few games and uh, went to a lot of games. So. Uh, always supported them and uh, it was, it was you know, very very proud. I was uh, very excited when I went there. Are you still a fan? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I still support Leeds. So uh, I always look for Leeds and how they're getting on and everything else. So uh, you know, I want to get one over on them on the weekend. Still a Leeds supporter, it's probably safe to say the reverse isn't true. But having weighed up his decision a few days on, Scales is certain it's the right one. Jackie Levy, Sky Sports, Wimbledon.